Hello everybody, this is Coach Tyra Woodruff, the helpful entrepreneur, coming to you out of Holiday, Florida on a Friday night. That's right, it's Friday night. And I just got done watching this amazing video. I watched a video earlier and it was like the third one in the series. You know how you go back and forth. But um, I found the beginning video and um, thank goodness for a sponsored post there on Facebook where I might not have spotted it. And it's by Ryan Dice and he talks about the seven day um, engagement based segmentation which is a method in which he has tested to email people that have opted into your list and it's I'm like blown away because I love email marketing okay um, and I've always been taught once I started understanding that I had to do it I was taught basically that um, I should be broadcasting or emailing my list one two three four times a day I always felt that once a day was plenty and that occasionally if something of interest came up that you wanted to re-engage you go ahead and set you know just like you would talk to your friend you know if something else happened you'd want to you know so keep it kind of fluid and not s rigid on two a day three a day um, and I also even so much would say to relax and go one every other day but never let them go too far in between without hearing from you and um, so, so I got that concept in my head, and then I listened to this training. It's basically a training, and uh, I was like, "Holy shit!" I've been wanting also to bring more, um, make my email list something that is engaging, um, my content be engaging, and be engaged with the people on my list. You know, even I love it when somebody replies. You know, because my autoresponder allows them to actually email me, you know, so it's not like something, I do not reply to this. You know what I mean? And um, I really love that. And I just feel like it doesn't happen enough. So when I saw this, I said, well, let me check it out. This guy's a genius, you know. Hey! And I'm loving it. If you've been looking to find some sort of schedule, if you haven't yet, you know, I know if you're if you're relatively new to network marketing or relatively new to the idea of managing your own list and and being super professional and making sure that you're building your list and not somebody else's list, otherwise it's just like going to work to build someone else's dream, um, this might be something very helpful to you. I'm going to go through it a little bit uh, and then, you know, you go find Ryan Dice and he's got lots of great information, but right here is it's a seven day segment and we're going to for the sake of this video for, that's how he did it too your first day is Monday right that would be a day that you would call the blind email where you would send something endearing funny something with your personality um, doesn't have to be like ridiculous where it, it clashes with who you are I mean you never know I mean it, what you think is funny or dry might be really hysterical to somebody I know I find that stuff funny um, but get it out there, let them know that you're connecting with them, and um, you're going to get the click. You are still going to add a, a promotional click, and I guess the, the first thing I should say about this is each week, or each engagement-based segmentation um, will be focused on a particular offer, a particular offer. Now, for you multi out there, I know I have two companies that I love to promote. Um, both of them, you know, I've got my university in one hand, my toolbox in the other, and I love to share it with the world. With this kind of thing, you would picking one or the other and sticking with it. So if you have a campaign, for instance, Kimberly and I are doing a combined coaching course, I might want to develop something that kind of promotes that to everybody on the list. So you pick one thing, create a specialized um, please page or landing page or capture page for it and you create a new list for it, okay, and you are going to put the link in that first email, your blind email, and the people that are going to click on that link, the people that are going to click through are going to be people that are really engaged with your brand already. They are engaging with you on social media, they open your emails often, um, they watch your video, they see you on YouTube, they comment on your blog. People that are close, you know, they might not be somebody you actually know, but they're people that are engaged with what you're doing. Those are going to be the people that are going to click on the link that Now, I said squeeze page for, I mean, usually people say, oh, no, you just send the direct sales or the non-capture link or something like that. 
And um, I noticed that Ryan does this because I'm on his list, as well. and I was always kind of like wondering what the heck is that. But what I based what it did for him was, if I open it, I'm just I just don't even see it. Of course, I click on the link. Now, if I open an email and I click on the, and I actually put my name and email address back in, that means I'm really looking seriously. I've read email, I've watched the video in the email, whatever it is, and I'm re-opting it. I am re-engaging with his content or his offer. So now he's got me over here. Okay, so you want that. Day two, you're going to direct promotion. You're going to describe. The, the problem, the solution, and then you're going to describe the benefits and you're going to present your product. You're going to click the link to the specialized squeeze page that you made already for this offer. And um, you go ahead and go through it like that. So a promotional sales letter, this is what that would be. The people that are going to click the link on that day are better engaged more with the topic than they are with you. They like you plenty, I mean they're on your list, but they're not nearly somebody that you know, engages with you outside email or replies to your emails, but they engage with the topic of the thing you're promoting that week. So they click the link, they're going to get back on the new list that you're going to keep going with, or they're going to purchase, or they're going to be an offer, okay? Number three, the day three would be this day. This is going to be your content day. When people opt into your list, they're, they're kind of, you know, they want some content out of you. I mean, we're we're here to learn each other, right? So that's going to be the day where you're going to bring the content. It's good content. Um, so, for instance, I'm talking about um, Power Lead System. My first week would be, you know, I would, on this day, the content day, I would maybe do a tutorial on how to get set up or do a tutorial about how to get a custom landing page, do simple, small things. Um, or and how it benefited me. So content day that teaches them something new. Um, that's going to help them re their their attention at you. Because if they weren't, you know, clicking through the link on the first or the second day, they're not either engaged with you, or if they're not engaged with the topic. That might be the day the person that wants to. That might be the day which they click through. So that's who click through on that day. Um, so basically, the Wednesday content would be set value and then a PM about your offer, the kiss page in there. Dave, take off. Give everyone a chance. Give a chance to open the email. You know, I do this all the time, especially even with Ryan's links. I do it with my links. Their emails. I, I do every time I give them. And then what I do is if I notice, I make them go to the email for three days. Two different styles so we could approach. One is promote.
Be the day you'll be, and maybe have 